Diablo 4, there is plenty to look out for. Whether you're searching for your next dungeon or trying to complete an event for extra murmuring obbles, you will usually never have to go far before encountering your next bit of action. For some players, though, they're not after action. Instead, they're chasing some buffs that will help later on. Namely, players in the Diablo 4 beta have been after the altar of Lilith statues. This collectible, of sorts, has been highly sought after by players in the beta. Even though we only have access to one major city and its surrounding areas, over 20 Altar of Lilith statues are scattered around the limited map's various regions. As a result, players have been scrounging across the snow and dense forests in Sanctuary in an attempt to find all of the statues. When you discover your first Altar of Lilith statue, the game tells you that there are more out there to find. However, there is no indication as to how many are discoverable in the Diablo 4 beta. According to the map, there are a grand total of 28 Altar of Lilith statues in the beta. There will, of course, be more statues once the full game is released and the entire map is opened up for players to explore. For now, though, there are 28 and players can see where to find each and every one via the map screenshot below. Usually, the statues will be located along the side of a road or near the tree line. They will often be somewhat hidden, but if you're near one, you will know it, as the statue will be glowing a dark shade of red. Once you find a statue, go up to it and press the interact key to receive the full benefits. What do the Altar of Lilith statues do? Speaking of those benefits, there are a few reasons why players should make hunting down the Altar of Lilith statues a priority. As the game initially explains, each statue will give players a different kind of reward, depending on which one they interacted with. Most of the statues will give players a permanent boost to one of their stats. This usually comes in the form of a plus two boost to any one of their five stats. However, some statues will offer different rewards, such as an increase in the amount of murmuring obbles they can hold or an HP boost. A majority of the time, though, players will earn a base stat increase. In addition to collecting a stat boost, players will also earn some renown in the area of the map they discovered the Altar of Lilith statue. Renown is a mechanic that players can level up by completing various tasks in a region on the map. The biggest region in the Diablo 4 beta is Fractured Peaks, and players can see their progress in the Fractured Peaks renown levels by pressing M to open their large map and then pressing W. Here, you can see all of the rewards you receive for each renown. If you have completed a level already, you can claim your reward, which can be anything from gold and XP to a skill point or extra healing potion charges. The Altar of Lilith statues come into play with this system since each time a player finds a statue, they earn a small amount of renown for their current area. If players view their map, they can see exactly how many Altar of Lilith statues there are in the map region they're currently in, as well as how many they have found thus far. So if you want to progress your renown levels quicker, then finding the Altar of Lilith statues is an easy route to take. You can also progress your renown levels by completing side quests, clearing dungeons and strongholds, and discovering waypoints. Join the ultimate gaming community today. Subscribe to our channel and stay up to date on the latest releases, gameplay tips, and insider secrets. Whether you're a casual gamer or a pro, we've got everything you need to level up your skills and dominate the competition. Don't miss out on the fun, click the subscribe button now.